can't just move into your house. It's not right. You, you have your own lives. Langston, we want this for you. I wouldn't have offered if I didn't mean it, sweetheart. Yes, Blair would never have offered unless she was willing to back it up. Oh. This situation has been very unusual since the very beginning. First, you demanded that Langston should just come here and stay. And now your niece wants custody without consulting anyone, including her husband, from what I can see. In my opinion, this is an impulsive decision. The child herself said that she doesn't want to be here. The child totally wants to be here. The star is my best friend, and Dr. Lord has been incredible to me. I just, I just don't want Miss Manning making some decision because she feels sorry for me. And I hate being talked about like I'm not even in the same room. I'm not a charity case. Sweetheart, we don't feel that way about you. We don't. Look, Mrs. Woodrow, come on. Will you work with us here? I mean, what do I have to do? to make this happen right now. This is not my decision. I can take this request to my supervisor. Then okay. please do that. Langston wants to be here. We want her here. And you know if she goes back into the system, she won't have a say in this. Please. Hasn't Langston been through enough already? Miss Wilde, can you see yourself living here? But I don't know. I, I need a minute. I'm sorry. Um, I'll go take care of her. I, I um, think that my niece and I need a few minutes alone, please. Hilda! Uh, Hilda! Yes, ma'am? I wonder if you wouldn't make a nice bracing cup of tea for our guest in the kitchen. Yes. Right this way, ma'am. Hilda! Hilda, please shut the doors. Thank you. Look, I am so sorry that I said no before and then suddenly said yes when the kids walked in. But you know what? I saw Langston's face when she saw Mrs. Woodrow, and I, I, Star's best friend. I could not let her go live with strangers. I couldn't. I just couldn't. Blair, I have never been prouder of you in my life. I'm sorry, that was so rude. I don't know what's wrong with me. Well, Langston, your parents are... I know that everything really sucks for you right now. Big time. But my mom meant what she said. Don't you, don't you want to live with us? Yeah, how could I not? But it's your family. I mean, it's one thing to stay over and hang out and stuff, but to move in permanently? It's better than living in a foster home. It's always I'm just freaking out right now. I, I woke up this morning and I was like, I can't do this. I can't live like this. Is that why you cut school and wanted to take off? Now I just feel like I'm in the way. That's why I didn't say anything about my parents. I don't want someone who isn't my mom and dad telling me what to do and I don't want to be a father. Okay, now you're just being a pain. <laughs> <laughs> do you really think this could work? Yeah, I do. If you want it to. It's your decision, Langston. There's no reason to be proud of me. I'm doing this for Langston. It was the right thing to do. I have no idea why Langston's making this so difficult. I don't think she's trying to make it difficult. I think she's... I think she's terrified. I mean, I know what that's like. I've been there. Yeah, but if that woman senses any reticence, we're in danger of losing Well, Langston. we can't let that happen. I do have one other concern. What's that? Todd. Todd's your husband, at least legally. And if we're going to take Langston in, we are going to need his consent. I can handle Todd, all right? One can only hope. Now, Ms. Woodrow is going to ask the same question, so well, we better... I handle her, too, Dorian. I dealt with dozens of women just like her when I was in the foster care system. She's uptight. She's a do-gooder. Control issues, and it's a dangerous combination. Come in. So, where are we? Well, I can tell you where you are. Miss Woodrow, you're in Kramer women territory. You are looking at four very strong Kramer women. 
and I'm going to tell you what that means. What you're looking at here, Mrs. Woodrow, is family. My Aunt Dorian would go to the mat for me. And I have two children that I would lay down in front of a train for. And my husband is off trying to bring his other son home because it was taken away from him. Yes, I know about that from the papers. Okay. Because we are a family, and because that little baby is now a part of this family, we're going to welcome him. Welcome him with open arms, with as much love as we would give our other two children. And that's exactly what we would like to do for Langston. I mean, if you would allow us to have her into our home and help her through a very difficult time in her life, it would be our privilege. She's Star's best friend. And I know Langston. She's a very sweet, considerate young woman. And that's why she was worried that it would be too much for us and a burden. But you wouldn't be too much, sweetheart. And you'd never be a burden, okay? Mrs. Woodrow, did you see this house when you walked in? I mean, it's huge. There's more than enough room. And there's certainly more than enough love. And I was, um, I was raised in the foster care system because I didn't have any other options and some of the homes weren't so bad and then some were but that's why I don't want Langston to be in just any foster home I want her to be in this home I don't want this to be a temporary landing place for her I want this to be a real home a place where she feels that she's welcomed and loved and I know that we can give that to her the child care system is set up for people who have no place to go. You know that. Well, Langston, she does have some place to go. She has us. So please, can you just, you know, look past your rules and, and think with your heart? I did. My Aunt Dorian did. And Star loves Langston, just like a sister. Please, can we do what's right here? I will still have to go through the proper channels. And then what? Barring any problems that should arise. Yes. I will support Langston in being fostered by you, Mrs. Manny. <laughs> in the interim, she still has to stay at the group home. That is the best okay. that I can do. But I'm counting on you two to make sure that she goes back to the group home and to the school that she's been assigned to until all this has been made official. If it is. Well, I don't think that there is going to be a problem We'll see here. to it. <laughs> I can work with that. So, I will be in touch. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank, wow. you. thank you. Thank you. Oh, this means so much to our family. Thank you so oh, much. Mom, you're so awesome. Thank you. Mm. Blair, I've never been prouder of you in my life. <laughs> You've said that before. Oh. You're an amazing family. Langston? Now you're going to be a part of it. <laughs> <laughs>